Hey guys, it's Piggy America Lover 1776 here with another story time video since you guys seem to love these so much. This time it's the story of my first card trick. That's right, the first time I grew some balls and I decided to perform my first feat of magic for actual real life people. Now, of course, don't think that the MRI video that's playing in the background is just a new direction that my channel's taking. It's because my first time performing magic for actual human beings and not just a mirror was at a standing MRI office. I know, it seems like a weird place to perform magic. However, there is a backstory behind it. So this story, we go all the way back to 11-year-old Piggy and his mom, who happens to be very claustrophobic, which is a trait that's inherited to me. If you put me anywhere in a confined area, I'm punching through like I'm John claude Van Damme in Bloodsport. So after perusing for a little while, my mom decides to get a standing MRI done where you don't need to be claustrophobic and then be inserted into that giant donut of death. Me personally, I've done an MRI a couple of times in my life and it was the equivalent of being a black person in an outdoor furniture store, just very lonely and desolate. It was the equivalent of being a white racist during urban week at the beach. Anyways, that's beside the point. So my mom's getting her standing MRI done and I of course bring my playing cards to the office while we wait. Me being an attention seeking 11 year old, of course, I try my best to get noticed while simultaneously not trying my best to get noticed because of social anxiety. My mom being major cheese ball that she is, she decides to tell the ladies who are working at the front desk that her 11 year old son is the greatest magician she knows. So she calls me over to perform for these ladies. And right off the bat, I'm shaking harder than a fork in a garbage disposal. I'm shaking harder than eggs in a microwave. I'm shaking harder than a black man who just got pulled over by a white cop. I'm shaking harder than a white cop who just had to pull over a black man. So she calls me over and these incredibly polite ladies ask me to show them a card trick. So of course I reach in my pocket dropping some cards in the process. I make some sort of half-hearted joke, but inside I'm dying. I feel worse than Hulk Hogan after finding out that my daughter is dating a black man. So I spread out one of the Hoyo-backed cards to one of the ladies and have them select a card. While I meagerly tell her to show her card to her friend, I'm taking out the two aces and handing them to her friend, asking her to examine the aces and make sure that there's no jiggery-pokery between them. A line that I myself remember to this day and cringe at the thought harder than a musically compilation. She of course replies with, huh? And I reply with, never mind. The girl who's holding the playing card of which she freely selected gives it back to me so I could put it somewhere in the middle of the deck, apparently at random. However, I insert it precisely where I need it to be and control it to the top of the deck. However, this control is nothing seen by any publication, any word magic, because what I did was what I would consider a shaking double undercut pass triple lift. The reason I say that is because the cards were shaking so hard in my hand Anybody looking at my hands would just see a blur. So if you were to know, you would think that I did some sort of pass. However, because my hands were defying all the laws of known physics, I somehow got the card to the top of the deck. I then request the aces from the second female in preparation to sneak their selected card between the aces and produce it as if the card has materialized between the aces. Again, no rhyme, no reason. I'm just doing it. So I do the equivalent of grabbing the top card and sticking it between the aces. However, trying not to look like I'm grabbing the top card and sticking it between the aces. The ladies are incredibly polite when they see all my shaking actions. However, they know what's up. So now I'm pretending that there isn't a card being hidden between the aces as I shake it over the deck and say, watch in my best David Blaine impression. Slowly a card appears to materialize between the aces. Of course the girls act impressed, but they know exactly where that card came from. That day I invented a new style of magic of which I call Parkinson's magic. The reason I call it that is because it's magic being performed while simultaneously imitating somebody with Parkinson's syndrome. However, after the trick, the ladies were very impressed and told me that that was the greatest trick they've ever seen in their life. A compliment that I still remember to this day. Oftentimes, I pass by that standing MRI office and hope that the ladies are still working there so I could go in there and be like, Hey, you guys remember me? Yeah, I have a big dick now. So that was it. That was the first time I've ever performed for actual human beings outside of the confines of a mirror. I would say it was a definite learning experience and I've heard of worse horror stories. However, the cringe is still something that haunts me to this day. So that's the story of my first trick. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys got something out of my misery. Please leave in the comments below the story of your first time performing magic for actual human beings. I'm going to go figure out different ways to look up a MySchool database without the username or password.